Hello everyone and welcome back to another video for Destiny 2 Shadow Keep. Today we'll be covering the fastest method to unlock the Mars Obelisk. For this, what you need to do is you need to go talk to our good old buddy Osiris and then get the Mars Obelisk Attunement Quest. What we need to do is we need to go to Mars and salvage Braytech. Now there are multiple ways to do this, but I'm going to show you my method and this got me done it in about 10 minutes, not even 5-10 minutes, you can do it even faster than that. It's not even that hard of a quest. So simply what we're going to do is we're going to load up the Braytech Futurescape and teleport there. Now it does say that we need to kill Hive and then we can also loot chests. But chests give you 3% and chests are not very abundant around the map. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up the Core Terminus Lost Sector as we normally do. If you guys have watched my other videos, this is where I come for a lot of my farming stuff besides the Whisper of the Worm. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to walk into the Lost Sector, and every hive that you kill, you will end up getting one salvage of Braytech. You'll easily be able to down this bounty in no time, as the adds are simply, you know, they're abundant, they're not too hard to kill, and then they just keep running at you. Loadout doesn't really matter, I'm running the good old Edgewise, Recluse, and Mountaintop combo, or Triple Threat, whatever you want to call it. And that's just what I usually run in almost all my videos, I notice. And just simply keep going through the Lost Sector as you normally would. If you somehow don't get this completed during the first run, simply reload it in the Braytech Futurescape and then come back and then simply run through it again. You don't really need any particular super to do this. Again, I was just running whatever super I wanted. I ran Golden Gun because I love the new rework they did with it. And then edgewise, I like the submachine gun just because of Rampage and shoots really, really fast. But like I said, guys, just keep going, keep going, and you'll eventually get at it. The next part of the quest requires us to then go back to the Mars Obelisk and interact with it and bank our materials. Once you bank your materials, like I said, guys, simply reload the location and go up to it and hit square or X or whatever console you're playing on or whatever device you're playing on, doesn't really matter, Google Stadia, whatever, bank it, and then the next part of the quest will then come up. For this part, we now need to get super ability kills, I don't know why I stuttered there, super kills, ability kills, and collect orbs of light. Super kills, I would recommend a super that lasts longer, for some reason I keep using golden gun, but the way that it works is it's 3% per grenade kill, 5% per melee ability kill, so my you know my knife was about five, four to five percent. Sometimes it did five, sometimes it did four, it did four, but I'm gonna say five because it's a better number. And then six percent per super kill. I keep making the mistake, and you guys have probably seen it in multiple of my videos, using golden gun for this. Use any super that lasts long, such as Arc Strider, uh, the Spectral Blades. For your titan use you know it again it doesn't really matter use whatever super lasts longer and can go for a bigger period of time compared to this once you're done that guys the next part of the quest simply requires us to go bank our light into the arbalisk arbalisk obelisk and then the quest is completed so simply teleport back to the bright tech futurescape and then go bank your moats as i call it and then boom, that's the obelisk that's been attuned, guys. That's been the guide. It's very fast. You'll get this done in five minutes flat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification box. I suppose I'm posting daily destiny content. Comment down below what you guys thought about the guide. And to make sure that it's, you know, attuned, just simply visit it. This one is probably my favorite uh, as well, just because you can upgrade your chances of getting more of these materials to get uh, in crucible which if you're doing the new fusion linear fusion rifle is really beneficial because then that way you'll be able to upgrade all these to max but thank you guys so much for watching tune in next time see you on the next one have a great day and adios